You ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. What up, everybody? What up, Mary Jane? How's it going, Mike? It's going great. Uh, welcome to Weed and Grub cooking videos. We decided we wanted to start making cooking videos. We want to start making cooking videos? Yep. We want to start making cooking videos. So here we are <laughs> making cooking video. If you haven't listened to the podcast, we love to get high and talk about comedy, culture, cooking, calling shit out. Everything under the sun, Everything basically. under the sun, yeah. yeah. And a big part of that is when we get in the kitchen together and we love to develop recipes. So, thanks to Goldleaf, who makes Cannabis Culinary Companion Cooking Journals, we're able to write down our recipes, do R&D, and then present the final product to everybody at home. You can keep copious notes about what you're using to cook with as far as infusions go. So if you're infusing butter, oil, distillate, any of that kind of stuff, you can note it in your cannabis culinary companion and refine and do R&D as you go. And if you want to get your own gold leaf journals, whether it's a patient journal, a cooking journal, the beautiful art that has terps on it, you can go to shopgoldleaf.com or check out their Instagram at goldleaf. Gold but, leaf has no O though, so it's G-L-D-L-E-A-F. Yeah, it's just gold leaf. Gold leaf. A little glottal gold leaf. It's a what? A glottal stop. Ew. <laughs> and also, we are making a can of cobbler today. And if you want to go to MaryJane.com, Snoop Dogg's Mary Jane, an article just came out where we made this can of cobbler, but we made it with cherries for that one. Yeah, but cherries aren't in season anymore because we're getting into fall. So today we're going to make it with blueberries. My berry ranking is blue, rasp, mm -hmm. boysen. Boysen? Yeah, because the I don't even I never look for a boysen. What are you going to IKEA or something to get your fix? <laughs> yeah. A little lingonberry on there? Yeah, I I went all the way to IKEA for their boysen berries. Have you ever had a cloudberry? Like is that a weed strain? No. I mean, yes, I think actually there is a product yeah. that just came out called cloudberry, but that sounds actually, delicious. cloudberries are these cool little golden berries that grow wild where I come from, and they're also known as bake apples which is close to baked apple, I guess. Yeah. And uh, they're delicious. They're like tart, and if you add a lot of sugar to them, they kind of break down, they make a great jam. Oh, for the breakfast toast? Oh, yeah. A cloudberry for breakfast yeah. is a cool sentence. It's a good way to start your day. Right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you've got your... You clouds your and clouds. Clouds and clouds. Nice. You want to cook? Yeah. All right, let's grub. Let's make this grub. Let's grub it up. Let's grub it up. Okay. Word. We're gonna start with the fruit portion of the fruit cobbler. So we're going to start off our saucepan on a medium high heat and fresh blueberries. Ooh, so good. And then you're gonna cut up some lemon to juice. I would say half a lemon and then a squeeze for a good measure because I like my um, cobbler a little on the tart lemony side rather yeah. than under lemon. One cup of organic cane sugar quarter cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So this is starting to bubble up. That's sexy. Yeah, and once it gets to really bubbling, then we'll reduce it until it's thickened. Time to move on to the best part. The can of butter. Yeah. Mm. Can of butter mixed with the dry ingredients makes the perfect cobbler crumble. Yeah, and the best part about this cobbler is that you don't even really have to mix it. You just put it all in one pan and then it all bakes together. So we'll show you how that's done. Um, first, yeah. is the can of butter. Yeah, and this is also the best part to like, you know, do that finger swipe and see where you're at. That's right. Here we go. Okay, so you wanna leave your berries bubbling down and then... Oh. It's three quarters of a cup of melted can of butter. We made this the other night uh, using some great trim from Purple Punch. And the thing about cooking with cannabis is that it binds to fat molecules. So can of butter is one of the most effective ways to infuse any baked goods at home. Let's go. Okay. Okay. It's so sexy. Isn't that great? God. So what would you like me to do once this pours in? Do I whip it around the pan? You just leave it and let it settle in the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to add the next layer without stirring anything. We're going to do the dry ingredients. In a big bowl? In a big bowl. Okay, how much flour? That's one cup. One cup flour? Yep. Do you want it sieved? Do I you mean, need it tapped? I know you want to sieve it because... I do like a finer tap, but yeah. when we made this before, you did not. Correct. I am not that detail-oriented, but if you want to sieve, go for it. Yeah, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. One cup. Great. Nice. One cup sugar. Baking powder. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon salt. Perfect. And 
don't over salt. Don't over salt. Please, it's a dessert. Yeah. Okay, now what? Uh, mix it up. Whisk whisk? Yeah, give it a little whisk. Oh, what's, what oh, do you think of the size one. of this whisk? It's a tiny it's one. It's not that small. It's tiny. It's not that small. That's a small whisk. It's not that small. It's pretty small. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so once those are mixed up, you're going to add one cup of whole milk. Okay, great. You're going to just stir it until everything's moistened. You don't need to overmix or go crazy, but just make sure it's sort of like a nice batter consistency. Great, like a pancake move? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, hell yes. And you're just gonna pour the batter into the butter without stirring it. So pour it into the center so it sort of disperses evenly. Okay, great. Perfect. That's so sexy. Last, before yep. you put it in the oven, the berries are gonna go into the batter. Again, don't stir, because it's all going to bake together uh, in a wonderful sort of way. Have you ever had dump cake? Love a dump cake. Yeah, this is sort of like a cobbler version of a dump cake. You're just whacking it all in the pan and it takes care of itself in the oven, which is the best part about this recipe, in my opinion. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so this is just going straight down the middle? Straight down the middle. Perfect. And now we bake this. And the best thing about this is you can throw it in the oven and then take it to a dinner party and share it with everyone. It's about 25 milligrams of THC. If you're making a cup of can of butter with an ounce of cannabis, generally it's about, works out to about 400 milligrams of THC per cup when I make it. Okay. So if you serve this to 12 people, it would be about 25 milligrams of THC per person. So we're ready for the oven? Yeah. All right, great. So here's a match cut that kind of matches, but may not. <laughs> So we set our timer. Yeah. 40 minutes. Time is done. Yeah, let's <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. You got to keep that in. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the cobbler out of the oven. Look at this beauty. Whoa. It's a nice little baby. It's gorgeous. I love the fact that it all bubbles up and bakes together. You don't need to mix it. It's amazing. Yeah, also, this is just like a little tip and trick because you said you had never heard, never heard it before, so I wanted to say it out loud. Um, if, like, because ovens have hot spots, you can turn it as it browns so that it'll brown evenly because maybe the bag of your oven's a little hotter, so that's gonna get brown quicker. So give it a quick 180 so that every part of it is the way you want it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yo, stop. Gorgeous, right? And then you want to get a little of the swiss. Yeah. To the top. Top sauce. Top sauce. This looks terrific. I'm really proud of us. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, it feels good to bake with you. Yeah, this, this is, is great. fun. Double, yeah, double? Another, yeah. What's your favorite in a cobbler? Do you like edges or do you like middles? I like crispy edges with some top sauce. Yes, Mom, just like the best edge. pizza crust, just like the best brownie bite. Yeah. Oh, because it does caramelize around the outside. Yeah, that nice little crispy edge there. Mm -hmm. And we have, in addition to cream, we've got some vanilla ice cream. Yes. Does that need a shake? Yeah. Happy to shake it while you do the vanilla ice cream. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, it's going to slide. It's going to slide. It's so Who hot. Cares? It's going to slide. Look at those rivers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about this too is like we're going to have beauty shots, but we may as well call out like if you're going to make this at home, you're going to make it at home and we're it, shooting this at a home. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like. This, this is, is what it's going to taste so good with those. Look at those rivers of cream. Like sometimes I don't like seeing beauty shots because I'm. it makes me feel like, well, I guess I can try to achieve that. Right. But the fun is in the doing. And the eating. <laughs> yeah. And exactly. we've nailed it, I think. <laughs> Here I'm going to put a little mint on it just to be fancy. And um, I actually don't need any cream on mine because I've got the vanilla. I want to do some cream just because I've worked so hard at it. Okay. A little scoop. Ooh, yeah. Little, ooh. Ready? Ready. Cool. Hey, can we touch forks? Is that weird? <laughs> I love it. Okay, fun. Oh, we might need spoons. 
Mm. Mm hmm. No shit. Right? No shit. Nice work. Nice work. Mm. Okay, so lemon, check. Berry, check. Yep. And you know if you don't have- It's not have, too sweet. If you don't have fresh berries, you can totally use frozen. Yeah? Yep. Well, totally I like work. that. I mean, fresh fruit is, I think, always nicer, but mm -hmm. if you can't get fresh fruit wherever you are, like Alaska in the wintertime, mm -hmm. use frozen. And I honestly, I always have frozen fruit in my fridge because, or my freezer, because I'm like, oh, one day I'm gonna start drinking smoothies. Yeah. And then it just sits there. But you can make a cobbler instead. <laughs> you can make a cobbler smoothie. But actually, that ain't bad. Mm. And can you taste the can of butter? Just the tiniest bit, which right? I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little herb herb mm -hmm. up in the club. Okay. Well, if this is 25 milligrams, I'm gonna chill for a second because we have to <laughs> shoot another video. <laughs> but this is really good, Mary Jane. I know it is really good, Mike. Yeah. Congrats. And also, straight up, just make this at home. Yeah. Like, look at what we're doing. And it's because anybody can do what we're doing, and it's fun to do with people you're into. Just make it up with whoever you like. Right? Yeah. All right, word. Word. We can grub out. Ooh, that's it. We found it. <laughs>